Born Eugene Patrick McNulty, Dennis Day would get his start in 1939 on the Jack Benny program. Day would replace a previous tenor, Kenny Baker, who would leave for the Fred Allen Show. At first, Day was mainly a singer with a few lines and a short studio contract, but his character as an Irish kid with a head full of air quickly developed and became popular. While Day maintained his role on Benny's program, A Day in the Life of Dennis Day was developed. In April of 1946, an audition episode of a situation comedy was created, and Colgate Palmolive signed on as a sponsor. The sponsor pushed for wide exposure, and the series would premiere October 3, 1946, a month later than scheduled. Jack Benny and Don Wilson would be guests on the first show, which is about how Dennis Day got his radio show. The show had Day, recently discharged from the Navy, as a singing soda jerk who did impressions. He would maintain his half-wit character developed on Benny's show. He worked at Mr. Willoughby's drugstore, with Willoughby played by John Brown. Brown was known for his role as Gillis and Digby O'Dell on The Life of Riley. At first, Sharon Douglas and then Barbara Eiler would play Mildred Anderson, Day's girlfriend, and Francis Dink Trout as Mr. Anderson, Mildred's father, all of whom had roles on The Life of Riley. A vehicle for Day's singing, the show would include three songs, in the beginning and at the end of the show, and one in the middle. The show would morph over the five-year run, especially in the fourth season, when Eiler and Trout both left the show in March of 1950. Trout would pass away from cancer March 27, 1950. By the end of the fourth season, Day was on a road trip with his father, moving to Hollywood, and would have a new landlady and a new girlfriend. However, Eiler would return as a different girlfriend, Gloria, in the fifth and final season. The show was popular and had a spin-off of its own. In 1949, Day would create six five-minute episodes for the National Safety Council called An Unsafe Day in the Life of Dennis Day. Also, A Day in the Life of Dennis Day should not be confused with The Dennis Day Show, a variety television show which ran from 1952 to 1954, or an unsuccessful radio program of the same name, which ran from September 26, 1954 to March 6, 1955. The announcers for the show were Vern Smith, Jimmy Wallington, and Frank Barton. Writers included Arthur Alsberg, Frank Galen, Bill Davenport, and Frank Fox. Music was by Robert Armbruster and Charles Bud Dant. Of 212 episodes produced, about 70 are available. Day would continue his run on the Jack Benny program into the 1960s, which generated a running gag that Day and Phil Harris both rated two shows, and Benny only one. Information for this synopsis was taken from material compiled by Dr. Matthew J. Noons, from John Dunning's The Encyclopedia of Old Time Radio, from the Internet Movie Database, and from Wikipedia. For old-time radio researchers, I'm your announcer, Patrick Andre. Enjoy the show.